Good lord. All right, hold on. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's get situated. Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to shut the door for a little bit of quiet and privacy because, frankly, actually, let me make sure my audio is even working. Bear with me, guys. It's been a long time, obviously, since I've recorded anything. Hi. Um, this video, okay, first and foremost, audio is not going to be great. I went downstairs to find my microphone. I found my microphone, could not find the cord to connect said microphone to a uh, camera. So we're going to just have to go with the camera's audio today. And I, I hope that's okay. I'm going to try to make today's video not horribly long, but I have a lot to talk about. Um, to be honest, I almost debated, we're going to be getting unready to while we do this. I almost debated on like sitting down and writing like little notes to map out my thoughts, but I've been putting off this video for so long because the more I think about it, the more scared I get to come on camera and explain why have I been gone? Again, didn't I come back and then I disappeared for even longer than I left the first time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I have a lot to explain, a lot to go over today. Um, I'm just going to sort of spill my guts in um, as, as best as I can to make everything make sense. And um, hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to forgive me for once again being gone from YouTube. And... Um, we're just gonna get into it, I guess. So, 2020, I don't even remember the last time, I should have looked before I even started recording, but I can't recall my actual last upload. I know that I recorded a couple of videos that have yet to come out and probably will after this video now. Um, like I had a fashion haul for the kids and stuff that I filmed, edited, uploaded everything and just didn't do anything with. Um, so we're going to be talking um, today about some triggering topics, so just kind of bear that in mind that it's this is a really hard video for me to talk about. Um, so 2020, like for most people, was a very difficult year. Um, obviously with the pandemic, people were losing jobs and stuff. I was at least lucky enough not to really have my job affected too much. So I still had like a steady income and everything, but it seemed like everything else was going really, really, really wrong. Um, and we're just going to talk about it. And I think I'm going to get the biggest elephant in the room out of the way and um, first of all I'm sorry to stop again but I just wanted to thank those of you who have um, messaged me through Instagram or Facebook or anything even though I might not have replied and I know I didn't to a couple of you and it's not because I'm trying to purposely ignore you it's like I just don't know what to say or I didn't know what to say until now um, but I do appreciate you guys and honestly I got one more message tonight and that's what pushed me to film this video so I do listen to you guys and I do really appreciate it um but the biggest elephant in the room, again, was, uh, this is really uncomfortable. This is really uncomfortable. This is one of those downfalls of sharing things online because then when big things happen, not that I feel obligated, but I don't feel right not telling you guys. Um, but TJ and I have separated most of you have figured that out just from, you guys are really smart. Um, some of you have seen that I'm not wearing my wedding ring. Some of you guys have seen that he's not in vlogs, which he wasn't in all the time anyway, but... Um, and then, again, some of you I know more of a, on a personal level, so you'll have, like, my actual Facebook and see that we were no longer together. Um, so that, when that happened... Um, as you can imagine, I felt like my whole world collapsed and I've always talked about, uh, mental health and anxiety and depression and the s demons that I face on a daily basis. And, um, that sent me into a spiral, a horrible spiral. 
um, it caused, uh, uh. if you've ever been in a divorce, which I, I, I really hope you haven't, but if you have, you know how exhausting it is uh, emotionally, especially when kids are involved. It's a, it's a mess. It really is. It's my first time ever dealing with something like that. So I was just emotionally like, I don't want to get on camera. I would rather just not film instead of get on the camera and act like everything is hunky dory when it really wasn't. And, um, so that's that. Um, as far as details and what happened and like, it, it just, it, you know, he's the father of Ella and Hunter. Um, he's more than welcome to see that, like, I'm not going to go into how our custody works and everything, but I am not keeping his children from him. Like he is still involved in their life and stuff. And I want that. I'm not that kind of parent that like, you know, I get every circumstance or situation is different, but in my case, TJ is still a great father. I still care for him. I still love him in it. Like I, I still, obviously not in a wife way. Like uh, how can you when you're not with somebody, but it's like, Oh, I'm rambling <laughs> because I'm nervous and I'm emotional and I don't know what to say and I just don't want to say the wrong thing because I know like people from my actual life and people that don't like me hate watch me and then they'll go and tell their friends what I said on a YouTube video that had nothing to friggin do with them like it happened all the time. And if you're hate watching me, I mean, at least you're still watching me. Like, why? Why are you still here? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. But I just, I feel like I kind of, kind of tiptoe because anything I could say could be taken out of context. So I'm not even going to get into why, again, him and I split up. It is what it is. He is a wonderful father. I will never take that from him. But we're just not together. And I think um, that was the scariest part to come on here and talk about. So... With that out of the way, you know, um, um, so, you know, the divorce and everything started going through. So obviously I fell into quite a depression. Um, and then I got into this mindset of just like, I was so depressed that I selfishly stopped caring about what kind of happened to me. I was kind of like, Oh, I'm going to do risky stuff and, and, and be stupid. And like, I didn't really care. And I did because I still have kids, but like in that moment I was so depressed. Like I was kind of hoping something would happen to me. That sounds so bad. Like I'm not, oh my God, this is a train wreck. I'm just trying to give you like an overview of what 2020 looked like. Um, so in the beginning of the year in January, my son was born. If you had followed me all throughout last, um, in 2019, all throughout my pregnancy diaries, you might have put together that it was a pretty difficult, um, pregnancy overall, the delivery, you know, his, the cord was wrapped around his neck. The, the pregnancy was quite uncomfortable. I got induced and whatnot and yada, yada, yada. So I dealt with postpartum depression, which I had dealt with with Ella too. It wasn't like that big of a deal, to be honest. I wasn't, it wasn't anything concerning, but then, you know, just the extreme exhaustion of having a new newborn and then everything kind of going to shit in the middle of the year. Um, my dog had passed away last year, Sandy, if you guys remember that. That's actually the video that I initially came back with was explaining Sandy's uh, passing back in actually a year. Um, I think, it, no, it was July, so next month, July 31st, she passed away. So in the beginning of the year, now I'm dealing with the separation of my husband and I and the death of my dog. When I didn't think it could get any worse, um, October came around of last year, I believe, and I was sexually assaulted. Like, I don't even think I could explain what happened um, on YouTube without being censored or something, but um, it was traumatic and 
it's nothing I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I'm not comfortable talking about it right now. I will. I will one day. Um, because I know it's a story that can help others. Other girls not make this stupid mistake that I did. Not be so naive and... Uh, anyway. So yeah, I, um, dealt with the sexual assault. And, um, that was my 2020. You know, it was the first year now that me and TJ were separated. Um, I didn't see my kids, um... Like, it was, it was now splitting up major holidays for the first time. So, like, Thanksgiving, they left in the middle of the day, and I was an absolute mess. Uh, same thing with Christmas. Christmas was really hard, again, splitting that time between me and, me and TJ. So, it was just, um, it was so hard because my life, I felt like was falling to shit. And then I have my YouTube channel that I gotta come on and be all friggin' perky for, you know? And, um, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get myself to sit down in the film and do what I actually love to do. Um, so anyway, um, that's why I've been gone. It's just because in my in my off camera life it's been a mess and things are getting better for sure. Like I don't necessarily regret anything that's happened. It just it was really hard to get through. Um so anyways, again that's why I was gone. But um moving forward, I've always explained that I quit things easily and I didn't want to be a quitter. Especially for something like YouTube where I literally have been doing this for like 10 years and Lord knows my subscriber count has been going down because I haven't been posting anything and that's okay but like, you know, I have, I have a small platform that I don't want to, I feel like I'm disappointing you guys to get down uh, to the bottom of it. I just feel like I was disappointing you guys by not posting and it was so hard to see people being like, I love your videos, come back, come back, come back, and feeling that love and just not being able to like reciprocate it at that moment because I was so depressed, you know? Um, but that's why I'm coming back because I don't want to give up on this. Uh, I don't. I don't want to stop YouTube. I just needed, I guess, a year to get my crap together. Um, but I don't want to stop. I still want to do makeup tutorials and I, um, you guys will see that I have been talking to somebody wonderful and maybe someday in the future you'll meet him. I don't, I really don't know about introducing another anybody to this channel just because of what just happened but recently I've just I had a birthday in May at the end of May and I'm at that point in my life where I'm just like what am I gonna do with my life how am I going to make a living um I don't want to make a living doing a nine to five job for the next 50 years I don't I just don't I just don't. Um, I want to do something that makes me happy and I look forward to doing every year and the only thing that I found that does that is some sort of social media. So I was active on TikTok for quite a while and then even from TikTok I took a break and now TikTok was easier to film. It wasn't recording, editing, uploading, description, it, all this jazz, you know, it was quick. So it was easier for me to, if I found a moment where I felt like I wanted to be on camera, to get on camera and just produce something and create and be creative and have fun, post it, not even think about it again. With YouTube, I felt like there's more setting up, there's more production that kind of goes into it. Even simple videos like this, I still got to get my camera, make sure the battery's charged, make sure my ring light is on, all the schnoz. So it was just, it was just a lot more effort for me. It might seem like very little effort, but sometimes the littlest things are like the hardest to get yourself to do. Um, by the way, I, I, I don't know. Oh, 
I lost my cotton pads for a second. I got to tone my face. Um, but I've just come to the conclusion of that, that this is what I want to do and I just need to pursue it. I need to start treating it like a full-time job while obviously still bringing in some sort of income somehow. But I just, I will never be happy at a nine-to-five job. I just won't. And I have to kind of accept that and not be scared of the unknown. So I'm trying to balance, like, doing social media as a full-time job while still being a mom, obviously, and while still bringing in a, a, an income. But I'm just at that point of where I just... I need to take a leap of faith and just believe that I haven't done this for 10 years for no reason. Um, whether it's YouTube, whether it's TikTok, whether it's whatever the heck else I pursue, I just need something creative and I need something to make me happy because quite frankly, if I do this for the next 50 years, like I will not do this for the next 50 years, if you know what I'm saying, like I just, I can't do this for the next 50 years. This, um, it's just not for me. Um. So there's that. By the way, I'm just using, uh, I haven't even shown you any of the products. I just, I took off my eye makeup with a little bit of coconut oil in case you care. I don't know. Um, I just use Cetaphil Facial Cleanser. This is nothing fancy, y'all. Um, I use an e.l.f. toner and then I just need to moisturize my face. Oh, you know what? I went on a trip recently, like a really quick weekend trip. For my birthday I had these like hydrating where are they oh here they are it's from elf they're like extra hydration boosting drops so I've been um, taking my pond's daily f moisturizer cream because of my nails I always use the back of my finger and then I just like to take an extra drop. Um, I've also been tanning and stuff. And then I went to Florida for my trip, so I got really burnt. Um, so I'm just trying to add a little bit of extra moisturizer, especially at night, and really just let it sit there. So I, you know, no matter what I end up doing, I know that making videos and this kind of creativity and that outlet, like just making silly videos, making makeup videos. I had like just started The Sims building videos before like the first time I left and I'm almost debating okay maybe not dedicate a whole channel to sims building but like maybe do some live streams and just talk and build and stuff you know so I so I don't feel so dedicated to it so if I'm not uploading sims video I'm not beating myself up for it um well, my last product I'm gonna use by the way is the elf hydrating under eye cream I gotta get my nails done super bad. These were my birthday nails, but a lot of the studs have popped off and they're clearly outgrown. Um, I'll probably go tomorrow. I got some TikToks to film tomorrow and some other content to film, but I might, I think, I think we'll go tomorrow. I might even try vlogging again tomorrow. Honestly, I'm just gonna throw this video even probably up tonight. That's probably why it's up late for you and I apologize, but I just gotta get this out there um, and apologize just once again for leaving. But um, I've said that I said it years ago that I won't film unless I'm feeling it. Otherwise, it's not fun for me, and I don't think it's fun for you guys to watch someone be miserable on camera. So um, I might be quiet and kind of uh, emotional in this video, but I've talked about two very sensitive topics again you know, the divorce, um, and then, uh, the sexual assault, which, um, let me know, Ugh. do I really want to share that video? Let me, let me just know your thoughts about, oh man, I'm probably going to get demonetized because I kept saying SA instead of SA, but let me know if you want a story time about the SA. It's pretty uh, difficult to talk about, um, hasn't even been a year and stuff but I do think it has a really important lesson in it 
And the last time I filmed a video was that was like the why I shave my arms video and I want to just teach girls so not give a crap what other people think and how can I do that if I care. So, um, I don't know, just sound off. Uh, YouTube still doesn't like me and still won't monetize or allow comments once in a blue moon it does so maybe in this video but if it doesn't i will uh post the thumbnail from this video as well on my community page you can go and comment there but um just stop by say hi um again i want to start treating this as my full-time job i know i talked about live streaming um, I might start live streaming on TikTok, so if you're not following me on there, definitely check me on there. Um, I don't know if I want to live stream on YouTube or on TikTok because I'm a little... I've just been disappointed with YouTube for the past couple of years and not even about my channel in general, just problematic creators who just don't seem to... They just fly under the radar while us... Smaller creators can't even get their uh, comments enabled because I have minors in my children. I have minors in my children. I have minors in my videos. So I'm not quite sure. Me and, uh, me and YouTube are not in a great, great relationship right now. But, um, you know, I, I want to get that going. I really do. Treat it like a job. This is what I want as a job. Treat it like a job. And... Um, We'll probably, I'll schedule a live stream once a week or something. Um, just check out my social medias. If you see me pop up on TikTok, I'm probably going to try to live stream soon on TikTok just to try it out. Um, if I don't like it, then I'll end up live streaming on here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will probably be posting, again, I have like a summer, spring and summer haul uh, for the kids and stuff. I'll probably be posting next and then going through some of my older vlog footage that I filmed between like February and now basically uh, like so throughout Valentine's Day and stuff there's some cute photo footage of the kids I don't want to just get rid of but um, thank you guys again for all the support thank you so much for reminding me that you guys are here uh, and care about me and my family and it really does mean so much more than you uh, could possibly imagine so Thank you guys again, and um, I will see you really soon. Don't feel, don't be shy to reach out to me on my other social medias as well. All right, guys, have a good night.